Hi everyone, it's John back with another podcast. This is podcast number 31. And today we're going to talk about the power of powerful routines. The reason why routines work on some level, but not on others, is because you might be omitting one particular word. And that word is powerful. You see, if you get up in the morning and you do a few sit-ups, so you go for a run, or you work out on the bike, or you go for a, a power walk, or whatever it is you do, this is very good and I, I would absolutely encourage it. But what you need to do more than anything is to look at each of those routines and say, does this advance my day? Does this advance my week? Does this get me closer to my overall goal? Because if it doesn't, it may move you along a little bit, but, it, but it's not powerful enough. And then three months down the road, six months down the road, maybe you're doing a little bit better, but you're not doing what you could have done if you'd included that word powerful. You see, I, I hear a lot about how a student might say to me, oh, I'm, I'm not as motivated as I was or, or as disciplined as I was. And I hear these words and I wonder if they truly know what they mean. Because in my view, motivation is a temporary thing. Um, motivation will kind of get you out of, of bed if the house is on fire because you need to do it there and then otherwise you're going to die so human evolution being what it is and everything programmed into our DNA um, to evolve and survive as a species means that if our house was on fire we would be motivated to get out of the bed get our loved ones out of there get moving that's okay but it is discipline that will take you forward the discipline to do something every week, every day, even every hour if you want to manage it on that level. And I uh, came to a realization that something I'd been working on for quite a long time actually, a, a number of years, um, was not going to be a success was not going to bear fruit the way I wanted because I wasn't in complete control of that and you have to be in control of the things you can be in control of and those are the things that you should be really motivated to do in the strongest possible sense of the word look at your routine on a day on an hourly on a weekly basis whatever it is and ask yourself is this a powerful routine My pause there was deliberate. It's, it's got to be um, powerful. It's got to be almost life-changing that you commit uh, a million percent to this ideal. Um, to quote a line from Rocky Balboa, that's how winning is done. And it is important to get the wins. And if you're in a situation where you are having loss after loss after loss, in the end, you, you must turn away from that uh, situation because it's not going to get you where you want to be. For me, as a martial arts teacher, I was asked uh, a question by a student the other day um, as to how long I will teach for. How many more years have I got at this level? And the answer is, is that of course I want to teach because I enjoy teaching, um, but I don't teach as many lessons as I did say uh, 10 years ago or even five years ago. And the reason for that is because I want to do other things with my life. And um, 
there are some students that will come and train with me no, no matter what, once a month, twice a month, uh, twice a week in, in some cases. So I am highly motivated to teach them because I want to get them where they want to be. You know, I want to I want to see them develop. I want to see them achieve. And I haven't done anything on this martial arts channel for uh, two months. And I would like to do more content that's relevant. If if you like this type of podcast, then then tell me so, and I'll do more of them. Um, but I'm definitely adding more content in terms of uh, wooden dummy. Uh, forms and, uh, and other demonstrations. I'm motivated to do that because one day I will stop teaching and one day I will be potentially too old to do the kind of moves that um, are required uh, for these um, effective demos. So nothing really changed in my uh, mindset, but but things are always changing in life. You know, some people just think I'm going to get married, I'm going to have kids, I'm going to settle down, I'm going to keep my job, I'm going to retire at you know 60, 65, whatever it is, and that's what they're going to do, and that's fine, and I support that, and I think that's great. For me, I would like to definitely sell more books so one of the things that I'm going to be really hard focused on now is building up my uh, book selling profile and that ju that is not just the martial arts books that's the fiction books that I write as well and for me that is a powerful uh, goal it's something that's going to become a powerful routine. It's something that I'm going to be working on every week. Not necessarily every day, but I am going to be thinking about it and then putting it into practice. Because the thinking is okay, but you need to apply it. And this this is a, a rule for, for life. It's a rule for everything that we, we do. We must apply it. I, I tend to be um, on the side of positivity. I also like to see things as they are and in the last few months and maybe a bit longer I have um, continued to work on myself it doesn't stop I'm in my mid 40s now you don't stop learning you don't stop developing if you do you stagnate you fail to circulate and then what happens to blood that stagnates and fails to circulate well it, it stops moving around and then you die and you'll ask yourself at that point, what is it really all about? Well, I believe that there's still more to come uh, from the martial arts side. I, I don't compete anymore uh, in martial arts tournaments, although I'll, I'll never say never. There might be some instance where I might um, return to the martial arts um, competitive arena. Um, but I'm enjoying the new challenge. I'm enjoying the growth that I'm seeing. Um, and not all the growth is down to figures that you can see uh, in terms of book sales or lessons taught or words written or even like holidays taken or whatever. Th those things are, uh, are not so relevant. Um, what is relevant is having a compelling routine because if you get up with like the feeling that oh, I've got to go to work okay that's a routine you might do that five days a week but you're not going to stay at it long term if it doesn't compel you and I'm not telling you to quit your job uh, if you haven't got anything else to go for you need something else on the side that's gonna um, support you um, because that's what I had um, when I uh, eventually left my uh, job in, in IT and marketing after 10 years um, and that was okay um, Teachers who teach one-to-one -one lessons do so because they want a powerful uh, routine. They don't just want to teach a group lesson where you, you've got different levels of student and you can't mold them because you, you, you don't have the time, quite, quite frankly. But in an hour, you can look at a student, even in half hour, even in 10 minutes, you can improve a student. Um, 
and get them to go away with a powerful routine that they're hopefully going to take through the week and, and, and onwards. And I think that's very important. The other thing to say is that I'm reading a book and have been re rereading it called The Power of Now. I'm pretty certain a lot of you will have heard of that book. And uh, although I've got some Kindle books, I actually have got a paperback version of this book. And I think The Power of Now could have even been cut down to one page but it's actually an enjoyable read it's not dry at all and it really does get you to think about what the moment is you know not the past not the future the moment right now because the power of now is uh, related to in that book by uh, Eckhart Tolle the author really lets us look at the moment that we're in and say is this what I want to be doing now? Am I making the most of what I'm doing now? Am I living in this this moment? Because if that's the case, then it's a beautiful moment. And um, I had an experience uh, in September uh, of 2019 where I had what you might call one of these moments call it euf a euphoric moment if you will but it was kind of a beautiful thing to realize and um, we can't always be in that that moment in terms of the mindset but we are in that moment and if we take that on board I think every moment from now on will be a special one and I encourage you to find that most powerful um, compelling routine for you um, you know do hobbies that make you incredibly happy have have uh, almost a hobby that's kind of semi-professional that you, you're getting paid for like when I used to play ice hockey um, or that it's growing you in other ways, like it's a real challenge, like with me playing uh, poker regularly now, um, that is a real challenge because I'm almost certainly not as good as poker as I am at martial arts and even then um, I continue to work on my martial arts skills. There is more to come. While there's breath in your body, there is more to come. Um, and I think it's it's our duty to let our hair down sometimes so that we can have a powerful downtime from our powerful routines and I think there is a lot of uh, content about got to improve and you've got to level up and you've got you to do this you know your, your time is now the clock is ticking all of that all that's great but don't let it be a negative pressure be it the be the right kind of pressure the right kind of motivation for you and then you will develop um, really powerful routines and you'll stick to them see when I'm writing a book or I'm drafting a book people might say well, when's the book going to get done and the quick answer is it'll be done when it's done not before um, in my last couple of releases I actually set on Amazon pre-order and I think whilst it motivated me to get them done I don't know if they were as good in the final analysis and so then you spend a little time refining them maybe editing them a little and then, then re-releasing them and then maybe they're, they're a bit better um, but I'm still proud of that work and uh, I know that it's helped me get on to the next level of whatever I'm going to do and currently the, the draft I'm working on now has taken me over four years and it's probably going to be released in 2020 um, but there's no rush no rush for me I have no gun at my head except the one where I want to have that powerful routine and stick to it and this must happen for you all regardless of whether you're married or single or separated or divorced or, or widowed or you've got elderly parents to look after or, or whatever it might be I know it's easy to say and it is not so easy to do I understand that and I respect that but 
life is what happens to you when you don't have a compelling, powerful routine in your life. Life will happen to you regardless. All these things that will come and hit you hard will happen. And you will feel frustrated at your lack of growth. You'll feel frustrated that you haven't moved on in, in different areas of, of your life. And so I impress on you to firstly read The Power of Now. It's a very good book. I, I recommend it. And um, as the author suggests in the book, take the pauses um, to really reflect on what you've just read um, and really think about it and really think how you can apply it. It's a short book. It's less than 200 pages, but um, that doesn't mean you should read it quickly. You should read it and uh, reflect on it and absorb it and apply it. And uh, that's what you should do. So um, I wish you all a great day. Have a powerful, compelling uh, day full of great and wonderful routines. Remember to have an effective, powerful downtime as well that you can enjoy so you can recharge um, for the demanding uh, week that's coming for you. Um, all the best to you and I will talk to you again soon.